Hello and welcome to the same team tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be looking at adding audio. We'll be continuing on from the previous part of this tutorial series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay, the game plays well and performs the desired functionality but lacks sound. The sound files are already added uh, in our resources folder. So if we just right click this and show in finder. We have our sounds folder here with free sounds, hit, point, and wing. So we're just going to drag and drop this, just make sure it is added, and you want to add it as a reference. Add it to the Mac target one now we have been so far. And now we can click finish, and now we can actually access these files. Obviously on Android, you don't need to actually add it anywhere like this. You just need to make sure it's in the right folder. This is actually the last tutorial on doing any sort of code for this Flappy Bird clone because we are going to have one more part of this series but we'll describe a little bit later on at the, actually at the end of this tu tutorial what that is going to be so let's just get into this before we actually play any sound effects we will preload the audio in the splash scene the code will be added before any code in the init method but after the layer statement check aka after this so we're going to do cocos Dention. The reason we have to do Cocos Dention is the, that the audio engine isn't built into Cocos 2DX. What I mean by that is I haven't added any particular files. It's all included when you download it and set it up, but it's actually an external library. So you could, in theory, add other audio libraries if you wanted, so something like FMOD, for example. So simple audio engine. Get instance. Then we we'll do preload effect and for this we're just going to specify sound for slash hit.mp3 and this hit.mp3 will be played when the player hits the edge or a pipe you can copy and paste this and change hit to point this will be when you go in between pipes and score a point and the final one is a wing which will be triggered when you click on the screen and make your bird fly mp3 okay the first sound effect mm. we will play in making the bird fly this will be added at the start of the fly method in the bird class so right mm. the other oh, one here mm. no i just my on the right one fly here. This is the one right here. Uh, it's going to be a bit tight because it's an inline method but eh, it's not too much of an issue I guess. So I was going to do Cocos Dention, simple audio engine, get instance, play effect, just waiting for IntelliSense to pop up and then we can do sounds forward slash wing dot mp3 and now the second sound effect we will play is when the player earns a point aka goes through the pipes this will be added in the game scene class where collision detection is done so if we go to a game scene.cpp and here it will just be added right here because this is where we detect if we score a point so we're going to do cocos dention simple audio engine get instance play effect and for this we're gonna put sounds forward slash not wing point dot mp3 the final sound effect we will play is when the player dies aka touches the pipes or the edge which will be played inside the game scene class where the collision detection is done so basically here yeah. and we're gonna do cocos tension so cocos tension simple audio engine get instance play effect if you can hear some sort of weird noise somebody next door is basically doing some sort of soaring and drilling so that'll be that I don't know if you can hear it you might be able to for us explain what it is so let's just run this now let's make sure the sound is on full so you can hear it Mm. 
Okay, let's let it load up. Click play. <coughs> Flying, we get the sound effect. I'm gonna go for a pipe. And now let's just crash. And now let's also just crash on the floor. Could we crashed on a pipe then? And we got the same sound effect. And as you can see, this isn't actually part of this tutorial, but we've got the score from the previous part of this series that we earned, which was four. So that is it for this tutorial and in many ways this series because the next tutorial will literally just be me talking about extra tasks that you can do because the game is done now and I'll give you a few extra tasks some of them to make it a bit more like the original Flappy Bird and some just extra tasks to make the game even better so thanks for watching I hope you have a nice day if you need to message us, you can message us at support at soundosystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recordings for source code will also be in the description. And bye.